Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so turn that heat down and save your hair. It's as simple as that. But it took me a long time to actually realise that before I can actually sit here and talk to you about those sort of benefits and my own experience, because now I can kind of realise that actually that sleekness you get from the really high, hot temperatures, um... The, the sort of the polished effect which you get from using a heated appliance such as a straightener or a blow dryer um, compared to leaving your hair natural is night and day. However, it only really started to hit home to me when I started to have highlights put through my hair and a lighter tone of sort of hair where it actually made me start to realise that actually what I was doing was my day-to-day -day practice on thinking that actually my hair was really healthy, but what I was actually doing was making making the process of styling my hair much more uh, much more damaging and actually almost counterintuitive of trying to grow long hair. So as you can see, I have got highlighted hair, I've got an undercut style here, okay, and then the lengths of my hair are growing longer. Now, this is the first time since I have used heat on my hair myself, okay, for nearly two weeks. Um, and I did have my hair cut yesterday. I had about an inch cut off my hair. Um, I say an inch, probably about three quarters of an inch. That's where thereabouts, to be quite honest with you. Um, and that has made a huge difference. But what I would say is what's made more of a difference is not necessarily using if you're going to use heat, then sometimes it can just make such an effect of even just turning the heat down. And I have really noticed, probably not as much as having a haircut, of course, but almost parallel to that, that I've noticed a difference in my hair, particularly because it's lightened. Um, with, of course, bleach, let's not get away from it. You can see the natural root line here. My hair is very, very dark. And it takes a long time to achieve a lighter colour. And I absolutely categorically, whether you're a man or a woman, I think we can all say that it is a premium colour, it's a premium service, it takes a lot more. But I, I, can, I can now say to you, turn the heat down on that blow dryer. If you've got a straightener, which you can turn the heat down, turn it down. If you've got um, GHDs, then that's a little bit different because the temperature, yes, okay, if you neglect that, it has still got the potential there to cause damage to your hair. But it's set at their sort of uh, painted to temperature to be able to style your hair. So then if you pass that through once, that should be enough. If you're passing the straightener through your hair two, three, four times, or you're using a blow dryer on super high heat, yes, you will achieve that real polished look. Um, if you're a man, you've got that pompadour style. For years, I wore a pompadour style with loads of volume in the top, but you'd have to blow blow dry your hair, sort of pulling the hair um, against uh, a bit of a, a quite a, a taut rough brush with a high heat hairdryer to get that shine, get that sheen, get that volume, that lift, that fullness, amazing. Start it with blasting free spray. I would probably go back to it some days, I can assure you, but it looks great. When you actually see what that's doing to your hair, and you do when you have lightened hair, because of course there's no hiding from it, you can see what it does to your hair the minute you're doing it, to be quite honest with you. The moment you've done it with highlighted hair, you can see, yes, you've got that polished sleekness, but a couple of minutes, the hair starts to come out a bit more puffy at the sides, the ends start looking a little bit naff. It doesn't look great on anybody. It doesn't look great. So this is why I am talking to you now that turn the heat down. Even if you've got dark hair, turn the heat down and you will be saving your hair. And that's, in essence, that's quite simply how it is. How often do we hear that? And you may see that online. Somebody may be concerned with having thinning hair. Now, if you've got really, really fine hair, it can still look amazing. Sometimes a blow dryer is your best friend because, of course, it lifts the hair away from the scalp. It creates fullness. It creates that sheen, that voluptuous sort of style. Whether you're a man or a woman, if you've got really, really fine hair as a man, really thinning hair as a man, or even see-through hair as a man, short sides and back, Longer length on top, but not too long, of course, with a blow dryer, you can create an ultimate, super cool, amazing style. If you're a lady and you've got really, really thin or thinning hair, but you want to keep it long, it can still look amazing with, of course, the help of, you name it, a heated appliance. But when you know what you're doing and you turn that heated appliance down, you can get a better result, which actually lasts longer using a cooler temperature appliance. So for example, using your blow dryer on a low heat and then when you're finished, so for example, if you're blow drying your hair off as a woman and you've got like the ends, you're doing those flicks, those kicks, that type of thing. If you're holding the brush there, 
use the cool shot of the blow dryer over the top of that low heated blow dryer which you've been using to style your hair you'll lock that in almost as like a natural sort of hairspray and i kid you not it will lock more shine it will lock more natural hold into your hair whereas if you're using a super high heat hair dryer yeah you'll get an amazing shiny look but then when you come to washing your hair next leave it dry naturally and you will see what that has done to your hair if you're a man and you have got really really thinning hair or really fine hair or even thick hair and you use a blow dryer to style your hair and you're wondering why your hair's dry why your hair's breaking well i tell you turn the heat down on that blow dryer yep you want to be out the door in five ten minutes of super cool looking hair Turn it down to its lowest setting, okay, then again, or if you've got the brush in the front there, hold it upwards, use a cool shot on the blow dryer, always, or if you're doing like a pompadour sign, you need that volume, always pull the brush with one hand towards the ceiling, it could be an oblong sort of vented brush or what have you, or even with your fingers, then with a brush, turn it down to its lowest heat, and then on those last couple of seconds, when you're ready to sort of take it out so you've got that heat there in the front and that height, that volume, that texture, use a cool shot, I kid you not, it's like a natural holding hairspray, and it gives you much more lasting hold. So turning that blow dryer down really does help. And I've realised that because I've used a blow dryer through styling my hair for many, many years. I'm 28 now and right the way, I'd say for at least... Not so much when I was at school because that kind of wasn't the trend. I had really, really short hair. But definitely for the last 13, 14, maybe 15 years, my hair, I've used a blow dryer on my hair for uh for literally near enough every day not so not so much at all recently once my hair's been longer because i have really started to realize that um that sometimes it is not great for your hair it really puts your hair through it and the analogy i like to use if you imagine if you're wearing a t-shirt so i always think your hair anything to your ear is a year anything to here is two years okay so if your hair is just kicking past your shoulders you've got to remember that's hair which you've been rocking for just over two years so I'm slowly getting there. So the very ends of my hair are about that sort of age coming up to. For some of the people that might not be accurate, but if you go along, uh, if you go along with that, the analogy I use is if you wore a t-shirt for 365 days a year, let's just say for one year, so everything to your ear, okay, one year's worth of growth. That t-shirt, after you've washed and dried it every single day, sometimes twice a day if you've wore product, is going to start looking naff. It's going to start looking rubbish around the edges. It's going to start looking dull. And if you think about it with hair, that's exactly how it happens. That's why we go and have haircuts. That's why we use the top end products and the oils and leave-in sprays. So think about that because I really do find that it helps. Again, with straighteners, keep straighteners for when you're actually doing something fancy or you're going out for that, that sort of, um, that, uh, that event or if you're going out sort of with your girlfriend or, or whoever that would be or for friends or mates or boyfriend, whatever. If you're watching this and you're doing something special and you think, I need to straighten my hair or I need to do, use a curling iron or something like that. Don't use it every day. Use it almost as like a like a, a sort of a I don't know, kind of like your VIP kind of event. Your time where it's for you. It's time to concentrate on you looking your very, very best. You're probably sat there looking really, really cool, if you're a lady sat there looking really, really amazing, glamorous anyway. Little compliment for you there on a Friday evening. <laughs> but um yeah, absolutely. So leave that sparingly of course don't i'm not saying don't use heated appliances i've used heated appliances in my hair today and as you can see it creates a really sleek polished effect on your hair just don't do it all the time because you will start to realize that your hair in the end will start telling you that it's had enough and i mean i've had a haircut and i've used the heat on my hair today and it feels pretty damn good this is where it takes me on to my next part of the clip when you are using heat on your hair always use a heat protection okay now that can be from any spectrum of cost so one which i really really like which is very kind of inexpensive is the one by tresemme okay used by professionals it's heat protection up to 230 degrees it's care and protect seals and shine this stuff is amazing i actually gave this to my sister-in-law and she actually really likes this product as well and she's forever lasting changing her style and rocking all sorts of hairstyles and and of course using heat this stuff makes a difference it looks after the hair it's not going to stop all the damage but it's going to help you on your tracks of just looking after your hair a bit more and you're just going to be able to achieve better healthier hair another thing to talk about as well is if you're finding that your hair just doesn't grow and it breaks that's another thing turn down the heated appliances don't use them often or if you do turn them down if you can and use heat protection i swear you will notice a huge difference if a spray and you can afford to sort of invest in yourself a little bit more 
What I do quite like is the Oplex bonding oil. Now, this stuff here is £26 to purchase. It's 30 mil. It is really expensive. I bought myself this as a setback um, at Christmas when I had my hair highlighted. Do excuse me keep doing this. I keep getting a single sort of short hairs coming across my face. And as I'm talking, it's really, really annoying. And I haven't got a band in front of me. And I don't want to stop this clip. So I'm just going to go ahead with it. But this, I bought this as part of a set, which will be coming up as a review real soon. Um... The other products, I'm going to leave that for another day, but the oil is really, really great. It's the bonding oil. And if you imagine, the cuticle of the hair is made up of bonds, protein bonds, which all have to align for them to be healthy, um, sleek, polished, look really, really cool, that natural shine and that natural sort of glare of health. It all has to be aligned. Um, the outside of the hair has to be closed, sealed, all those really nice polished edges you can sort of imagine on a diagram of hair. When you start getting hair which you put through bleaching and heat, the outside, the core of the actual uh, cuticle of the hair roughs up, really rough, really textured. Um, the bonds start to break, that's why you get breakage. Um, and yeah, just not very nice. That can happen through colouring, bleaching, but mainly through heat damage, I would say. So this stuff, really, really great. Style your hair, you can use a little bit of this as heat protection. Little, uh, a small amount of this for your hair whilst you're using um, damp hair, and then you're going to go in with a blow dryer afterwards. Not too much, less is always more, and wet products, um, which is again a recommendation for this product as well, the heat protection. Wet products for wet hair, okay, dry products for dry hair. The bonding oil is slightly different because to finish your style, you can take a small amount of this for your hands, and you can run this through the ends and lengths of your hair, and it's amazing because it just calms all those small flyaway hairs, it, it calms and controls the look of any sort of dry ends, and it re-moisturizes and just brings so much nourishment to the hair as well, which is really, really cool. So this one, up at the premium end of the range, but really super cool as an investment. Other one I just want to talk about as well, which is slightly different. It's not necessarily a heat protection, but it is that rich sort of nourishment, which helps align the bonds in your hair. So if you remember rightly, so if you imagine sort of, I like to think of it like this. If you imagine marbles all in a line, okay? If you imagine two lines of marbles, that's one cuticle of hair. Rough hair, they're going to be all jumbled. If they start mixing up, they're going to break. It's going to be awful. For that to be polished, sleek, healthy hair, it needs to be all aligned perfectly. Now, to help those bonds align perfectly for us to have super healthy hair, I came across a spray, which I love, and I'm actually going to review it soon. I've, I, it's all gone. Unfortunately, I need to buy some more. It doesn't show up very well on camera, but this here is Pro Bond by Goldwell Dual Sensors. And this is a repair and structure spray, which works at helping the bonds align and keep more healthier hair. It's predominantly for fragile hair, but if you've got blonde, bleached hair, I'm going to say, I'm just going to put that out there, it's fragile because you've done a chemical process on your hair. I know that, a lot of other people will know that, they may not necessarily admit it, but men's hair, women's hair, whatever, if you put bleach on it, it changes the texture, you're going to need more nourishment. This stuff is great. Now I use this throughout my hair of an evening and spray my hair back into sort of like a black band and then till the morning it just puts so much nourishment in your hair. You can also use this before heat which is really really good as well. It's like a heat protection, a bit more of a preventative measure so it really really helps. I'm trying to this year make my clips shorter and improve the quality of my clips. I really really hope that you've kind of enjoyed this as I was styling my hair today. I thought you know what I'm going to work on talking on my channel what I actually stand by and what I found to be really really helpful. So for me turn down that heat save your hair and I think hopefully I've got that through pretty successfully. Thank you very much for being here. If you've got any comments comments <laughs> from New York here. Yeah? Do apologise. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. I apologise for keep running my fingers through my hair. I keep getting single hairs just sort of touch the side of my mouth and it's so annoying. Um, and as I said, I haven't got a band or anything in front of me, so I do apologise about that. Um, but hopefully you like the style going on. It's quite it's quite light at the moment, isn't it? You can see how light it is. You can see the roots and things going on. It looks a bit funny, doesn't it? But um, I like how it is. It's, it's healthy. I've had a had a recent haircut. I'm using heat protection in my hair. This really dried my hair out, but I'm getting back on top of it now. My hair's growing. I really like the style, how it's going, and um, hopefully you do too. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Um, and yeah, so just remember that if you are using heat on your hair, turn the heat down. Perhaps don't use it so often, and always use heat protection and save your hair. And you will, if you're, if you're really, really struggling to achieve growth, following those things, and just looking after your hair a bit more, you will, I promise, 
start to see a little bit more growth in your hair or at least better quality hair so you can actually see that growth so it's not breaking and snapping and drying out so it just looks naff on the end there of course a regular haircut always really a great step as well and then after that turn down the heat look after your hair i hope you've enjoyed this clip i certainly have it's been absolutely great to have your company here and it's friday evening for me so i really really do whenever you're watching this hope you have a great day a great weekend and it's 2022 so i hope you have a fantastic rest of january and a really really great year ahead thanks very much for being here and until next time i'll see you soon bye for now